Good evening. It's officially night two of Festival International with some of the first performances of the night already underway. Let's check in with Jim Hummel live over at the main stage. Jim, what's in store for tonight? Hey, Valerie, a beautiful night out here for night two of Festival International. We're here at Sen LUS at Park International, the main stage for this year's festival. And the music has already started. You might be able to hear it right now. And the crowds are starting to come in, people getting out from work and school and coming down here to enjoy some great music for Festival International. On stage right now is Dominique Dupuy. She has a Cajun last name or something you might think of as Cajun, but she's actually from Canada, from New Brunswick. She's a fiddler, and we've all been swaying up here on the media deck. Uh, listening to her music. Uh, so the music has started and then the opening ceremonies are going to start at about 645, really officially opening up uh, this year for Festival International. This is an international music festival. It of course lives up to that name. We have artists and musicians in Lafayette from across the world specializing mostly in French language and French music. But they are here. It's a great networking opportunity for these artists to really interact with other, other artists with a similar musical genre. But they're also able to network with record industry executives and booking agents that can get them other great gigs such as Festival International. Josh Many with their story starting off our team coverage tonight. During peak submission season, I get 60 to 80 different bands uh, a week, I would say, that try to apply to the festival. John Horniak is the senior executive director of the Memphis chapter of the Recording Academy. So we're the organization that does the Grammy Award. You know, the, the Motion Picture Academy does the Oscars, the Television Academy does the Emmys, the Recording Academy does the annual Grammy Award. For me, it's just being able to just feel something. Horniak is one of the many music and record executives in town for Festival International, all of them looking for the world's next big music star. We always want to be aware of the happening artists, you know, some we're familiar with because of past recordings or whatever, but we always are paying attention to who we think the most important artists are in the various regions of the country. And this is one of the, the great areas for music in the world. Donchet is a full country blues band from Quebec. This weekend they'll be performing cuts from their new album, Gaspar Cana, which blends life on Gaspar's E Peninsula with Americana music. We talk a lot between the songs. Uh, we uh, share uh, the story of the songs uh, with people, and I think that people write, uh, love to hear that. So. Another Canadian artist, Shaw Wee, will also perform at festival. He meshes his life as a member of the Innu Nation in Quebec with reggae rhythms and vocals. So I try to, to tell, uh, you know, positive messages in my in my songs. So I talk about love. I talk about uh, uh, environment, you know, nature. I talk about uh, God. I talk about uh, what I believe, you know. And before the weekend is over, he or any of the other festival performers could leave festival with a major record deal. In Lafayette, Josh Many, KTC TV3. Hard not to tap your toes with music like this going on down here at Festival International all the time. But if you're like me and you have two left feet, well, good news. We had some folks in town giving dancing lessons today over at the Omni Center. A group in town from Canada taught free music lessons and uh, Acadian step dancing lessons. They actually started out with a history lesson about how the Acadians used to play music with spoons and then they taught some students how to make music and also step dance. That would go great with this music right now from Dominique Dupuy on stage right now. Now the group is in town promoting their own event, the Congrès Mondial Acadien. It's a festival that takes place every five years celebrating the Acadian culture. The 10th to the 24th of August. Um, there's family reunions, youth events, um, big celebrations, uh, huge shows like to showcase all of Acadian artists and Louisiana artists that we're going to bring over. And something new this year at Festival International. I've got mine on right now, this wristband. It's an easier way to make some of your purchases for merchandise and drinks downtown. But just to explain exactly how it all works, let's check in with Marcel over downtown here in Lafayette covering Festival. Marcel? 
Hey Jim, thanks. I'm here at a top-up station, which is essentially a reload station for your wristband. I didn't put this one on because I wanted to show you exactly how lightweight and easy it is. It's nothing bulky for your wrist or anything while you're here at festival. And this gets you lots and lots of things. You get drinks, you get festival merchandise with this little guy right here. Download the app and you can register your wristband and everything. Or you come here to a top-up station and you give your debit or credit card or some cash here to reload or to load your wristband. Now there are some other things you need to know about the wristband while out here at festival let me go ahead and tell you about some of that the auto top-up reload feature now this is what happens you can enable this and then thirty dollars will be automatically reloaded to your wristband when your balance drops below fifteen dollars now this feature can be turned on and turned off at your discretion also you can't split a payment between wristbands so if Jim want Jim and I went to a merchandise 10 and we wanted to buy something for twenty dollars we can't put 10 on mine and 10 on his that doesn't work you can't split payments and you also can't transfer funds between wristbands either so he can't give me any leftover money on his wristband unfortunately I can't give him either so that's the way that works also let's say you have some money left over on your wristband when you're done with festival on Sunday you can get your money back that is not a problem. Here's how that will work. If you pay with a credit card or debit card, the amount that's left over will be refunded back to your card. However, there's what's called a $5 refund processing fee, and it will take up to 10 business days for that refund to appear on your account. Now, if you pay with cash and you have money left over, you can get your money back as well. It's a little slower process with that. You have to get a form to fill out, a manual refund form, and then submit that, the $5 fee, does apply for that as well. And registering your wristband can be done on the app before you pick up one here at a top-up station or you can register it here. You don't have to register your wristband, but here's the deal with that. A lot of the features on the app won't you won't be able to use unless you register your wristband. Also, you need to know that the wristband is for festival merchandise and festival drinks. The private vendors and merchants who are out will still accept your credit and debit cards and cash or whatever they're accepting at their designated areas. This only applies to festival stuff. So the other stuff out here, the privately owned businesses and the individual merchants who are out there selling their goods and their drinks and their wonderful meals, that you will pay for differently outside of this wristband. So there you go. All you need to know about the festival wristband for this festival 2018. You have it now and you can also find it on KATC.com. Jim, back to you. And maybe the best and definitely the most important purchase to make with your new wristband is one of these, a festival pin. I just got mine right before coming on air. It's really quick and it doesn't cost very much, but it helps keep this festival, Festival International, free every year. And 